This is the Evolution EVOS R 355. This machine has a 355mm blade or 14 inches. This machine can cut wood, plastic or steel with the blade which is supplied. The blade will actually outlast approximately 20 abrasive discs. So you should get approximately a thousand cuts in mild steel from one of these blades. You can also get a special blade for this machine if you're cutting a lot of aluminium and you can also get another blade for cutting stainless steel. I've just unplugged the machine whilst we have a quick look at some of the features. We have a good heavy duty guide that goes around the blade. The blade is very high quality. You should get a thousand cuts in mild steel using that blade before it needs replacing. The base on this machine is cast iron. As you can see it has been machined there for the clamp to run on. You can easily change the angle from 0 to 45 degrees by undoing that lever at the back and then you can turn that until you get it on the 45 degree mark and then you can lock off the handle again. So changing the angle on this machine is very easy. On this side of the machine we have a convenient place to store the X key for changing the blade. There's also a lock down pin on this side of the machine. If you need to transport the machine you can simply press that in and that will hold the machine in the down position. If you're not using that simply pull it out and turn it. That will enable you to use the machine in the full range of motion. And just in there we have the spindle lock which will lock the blade for when you are changing the blade. This machine is actually the 110 volt version but you can also get it in the 230 volt version. And you also get a spur set of brushes with this machine. You can see that it's cut that at 45 degrees, absolutely no problem at all. Not only can you use the same blade for cutting wood, you can also use it for cutting wood that has been embedded with nails. That end of this 100mm by 20mm steel bar was actually cut on a bandsaw and that was cut on the Evolution. So we do have a tiny burr at the end there but that one has a burr all the way down the edge 
and the actual quality of the cut is not as good as the Evolution. This is a piece of 6 inch by 3 inch mild steel channel. To cut through this we do need to lift this up slightly because of the radius of the blade. So I'm just going to put a 10mm packer in there. And then I'm going to put the channel on top of that. And we should be able to quite easily cut through that. If you look at the quality of the cut on there, you can see that we have got an extremely clean cut and of course with all Evolution saws, once you've cut through the material it is absolutely cold to the touch. This is a piece of 80mm by 80mm 5mm walled thickness mal steel. If you cut it in that orientation it will take approximately twice as long than if you cut it in that orientation because of the actual where the chips are removed when it's cutting. So if we use the adapter plate that's supplied with the saw, and then clamp it in that position, it will cut through there twice as quick as what it will if you lay it flat. And again, absolutely cold to the touch. Another useful feature on this machine is a tray at the back that can simply be pulled out and emptied. If you're cutting metal on a regular basis, a machine like this is definitely worth considering. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.